Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to another episode in my playthrough of Skyrim. We're here with Lydia, and we're in this place called Halted Stream Camp, and it's showing us cleared now, probably because we killed the uh, bandit leader and his gang of disgusting, slimy bandits. Uh, so we need to go collect a bounty from Proventus of Inici, and I'm hoping it's going to be a pretty substantial bounty. Uh, because i um, trying to get up to 5,000 gold so I could buy a house in Whiterun, mostly just so that I could store my crap somewhere. That's mostly what I want to do. Uh, after the last episode, I went around and I mined a bunch of ore in here. Um, a lot of those places that I had mined before I died. Uh, I didn't really want you guys to have sit through me mining again. So I went and mined a bunch of stuff. Found some pretty cool stuff, I feel like. I found some... Um, um, a flawless garnet, some regular garnet, and some good stuff, you know, stuff that'll sell for a fairly nice price. So we didn't finish exploration of this place uh, in the last episode, so I want to do that now. I mean, we got all these sacks to search, and uh, we may as well search them, right? I mean, it's free stuff, so it'd be silly not to search it, and plus I've got Lydia here to help me carry stuff, so we're just going to really stock up on things and apparently I'm gonna hit this with my axe too I'm not sure why I got that out um, so a little bit of search in here and uh, we'll see where this takes us I mean because it looks like there's a pathway over there so there may be more to this place Ooh, here's some potions a coin purse nice this is a very lucrative uh, trip so far a flute well we'll take it we can maybe sell that uh, read A Brief History of the Empire, Volume 1. You notice that it is not glowing. This is a book that we've already read and have in our inventory right now. So we don't need to take it again. Sacks of flour. A sack of, of a sack of flowers. Flour, whatever. Uh, search in the sacks. Okay. So these guys, apparently we're specializing in uh, mammoths down here. There's a forge down here that I don't think I need to use. We can search the mammoth. We'll get the mammoth snout. I don't know. It's food. I guess I'll take it. Let's see what else is down here. Uh, wow, more ma these mammoth t mammoth tusks are worth a lot. Now we're gonna give one of them to what's her face. I know I'm over encumbered again, um, but that's okay. Lydia, come closer so I can give you some stuff. Why are you way over here? Let's I've go ahead and give back. her more stuff. We're going to find out her weight limit here pretty I soon. Your command. I would think. As much stuff as we're giving her. Oh, I'm going to switch to myself. Sort by weight. Um, we're going to give her these five mammoth tusks. We're going to give her these snouts. I guess the flute. And then I have a bunch of other stuff that really doesn't weigh that much. But I'm still pretty close to um, over encumbered here. What the heck is going on? Why did... I guess I gave her both of those mammoth tusks. Wait a minute. Wait a second. What am I... What's going on here? Um... So I, I'm looking at all. And sorting by weight. Where's my armor? Let's get going then. What the heck just happened? I'm still wearing my armor. What? I guess my armor doesn't show up as something I can give her? I thought I'd seen it as something I could give her before. Yeah, I'm still wearing it. I don't know what the heck's going on, man. Oh well, I'm not over encumbered now, so let's move around a little bit more. There's uh, a chest here. There's a table with a bunch of potions. Cool, man. Ooh, some iron ore. Just ore laying around. I guess, I don't know, this wine sells for quite a bit, it looks like. I mean, I'm not even looking at this stuff. I'm just taking it. Here's two books I haven't read yet. I'm gonna tell her to pick them up so they stay unmarked. I've got your back. I need you to do something. Yes, Thane. What is it? I need you. Yes, my Thane. To go here and take that. Okay. And got take it. that. No, not read it. No, well, we'll see what happens. Take it. Take it. Nice. Okay, got okay it. cool. Okay. Here, get get these two while you're at it, will you? These are also books I haven't okay, picked up yet. It. Okay. Go get it. Nice. <laughs> get that too. Okay, got it. Get that one as well. Nice. Okay, this is cool, man. 
just have her pick up the books, and that way they don't show up as red Anything for else? me. Potions, potions, leather boots. I already read that. Wine, iron ore. I don't need that. Uh, we can search this dresser. It's got clothes in it. I don't need clothes. Yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to find here in this, the rest of this mine. Let's see what's in the chest. Yeah, amethyst, a dwarven bow. Well, I could sell that. All this gold, lockpicks, scroll of the bane of the undead, steel sword of arcing. That sounds pretty cool. That's going to put me over my weight limit, though. All right, well, come here, Lydia. Come on. Come on, can't you see I'm over encumbered? Still here. Trade with her I again. Your command. Go to me. Wait. Oh, is she? She must be over encumbered now, because all this stuff is grayed out, right? Is that what this is trying to tell me? Like, if I try to give her the bow, I can't even pick it. Okay, I, I guess. Um, I guess she's over encumbered as well. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. So now I, decide, I have to decide what it is that I want to keep and what I want to drop. Like Mammoth Snout, we'll get rid of that. Let's get going then. Yeah, I guess she's over encumbered. Alright. So, um... The Snout... Only one of them here though. Leather boots. Hmm. What else can I drop? Um, I mean, I want to keep that steel sort of arcing. And the, that Dwarven Bow is worth an awful lot, too. So now I'm in a weird situation where I need to take stuff back from her so that I could drop it. Because um, I don't think I could say, hey, Lydia, drop this stuff in your inventory. I am sworn to carry your burdens. <laughs> she does not sound too happy about that. Yeah, I cannot simply tell her to drop something, so... Um, I'm going to take back this fur armor from her. And I'm going to take back these iron boots because they're not worth a whole lot. I'm going to take back... See, this hunting bush is, might, might be what she's using to shoot things with, so I don't want to take it from her. The steel sword isn't worth crap. Or the iron sword. Um, and... What else? This iron great sword. Okay, so now Lead on. I can drop some crap. We'll just put it in this chest. Disappoint somebody at some point. They're like, oh man, there's just a bunch of crap in here. So we'll drop this in here. And um, that's... Per no, I'm still over encumbered. Damn it. What the heck did I take back from her that I could put in here? Um, hmm, well, crap, man, thought I had taken more stuff back from her that I could put in here, doggone it. I mean, I really want that dwarven bow, it's worth a lot. Hmm. Well, I mean, I kind of like to sell the hunting bow, it's worth an awful lot too. Hmm, still over encumbered, damn it. This sucks. What else can I take back from her? I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that. Oh, I want to look at her stuff. Uh, I guess the iron armor. I mean, I. What is she wearing anyway? I guess she's using the steel greatsword these boots and this helmet, but what is she wearing on her body? Like, if I take the iron armor back from her, I mean, that's not what she was wearing, is it? I don't need these stupid snouts. They're not really not worth all that much. Don't care about the iron dagger or the fur shoes. Okay. Alright. Okay. We'll be done with this soon. Don't you worry. Okay, drop the iron armor in there. Golly, I'm still carrying too much? Really? 
Um, get rid of these stupid snouts. Fur shoes, the iron dagger. I'm back to 314 again. What the hell? Um, what the hell am I missing? Well, now that I've taken stuff from her, I should be able to get some, give something back. So I think that's what my thought was. I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You be quiet. Okay, so now we're going to give her the um, dwarven bow and this sword and this tusk, and um, that's pretty good. Okay, well, hopefully this place isn't that much bigger. I mean, there's all these sacks over here that I'm just going to look for gold, to tell you the truth. We're, I guess we're not going to find gold in these sacks, are we? I mean, I hate to leave this stuff behind, but as you can plainly see, I am massively over-encumbered. So let's see what else is in this place, see how big it is. Don't step on that. Ooh, there's another uh, ore vein here. Another one there. Can I tell her to mine ore? There's a bear trap there. Activate that so I don't step on it. Here is a tripwire. <laughs> the freaking genius. <laughs> She's on fire. <laughs> no! Okay, that'll take us back out to Skyrim. Okay. Well, before we go back to Skyrim, um, no, put that away. Let's get this uh, iron ore here. I mean, we could get some more uh, gems from this. Very important that we get this stuff while we're here, even though it's tedious. So uh, I'm wondering if um, if I improve my pickaxe, can I mine more quickly? You know, less swings per mining attempt, maybe? Sounds logical, don't you think? But uh, yeah, we don't want to leave here without getting this ore in this. These gems and stuff. We got some iron ore right behind me. It looks like there's another thing to step on. Or better yet, not to step on. Okay, that time we just got more iron ore. Don't step on that. That means you too, Lydia. Oh, stay there, Lydia. Iron ore. Okay, more iron ore. So no gems for us that time. It's kind of a bummer. I guess there's actually probably a whole bunch of places down here to, to mine stuff. So there's a forge right there behind me. Um, I wonder if I could save myself some weight by... Well, no, I need to go to a smelter, not a, not a, not a forge, right? Man, I hate how the camera angle changes like that when I'm done mining. It makes me lose track of where I am. So here at the forge, this is where I would craft armor. You'd think they'd have a smelter down here. The grindstone. I don't remember what a smelter looks like. But you'd think they'd have one with all this ore. Um, but I didn't see one. I mean, they even have a tanner down here. So the forge I can use... To, yeah, I can't... I can make rings and stuff. That's interesting. Hmm. That's what I'm supposed to be doing with these gems. I'm supposed to be making uh, rings and such. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, okay. Like this gold necklace I could make. So a gold necklace is going to take a gold ingot, of which I have one. And then these down here are going to take some ingots and such. So I can make this silver jeweled necklace. That would sell for quite a bit. Yeah, let's create that. Oh, okay. Smithing is increased. Um, I could craft this silver silver amethyst ring. Let's see. What's the most expensive thing I could craft? Banded iron armor? Neat. So I can make the silver amethyst ring, which is money in my pocket. I can make this ring. Make a gold necklace. Okay, so if I made this, it'll the weight is 35, so I don't think I want to do that. I mean, even though I'll be trading three leather strips 
five iron ingots and a corundum ingot, or corundum ingot. I don't think those add up to a weight of 35, right? I mean, leather strips, uh, leather strips, I mean, they weigh 0.1. So that is a strange case of taking things that don't weigh much and turning them into something that weighs a lot. It's not something I want to do right here. So I guess we're done in here. And um, let's head on out of here. Try not to step on that. Lydia. She stepped on it. <laughs> she got hit by something. <laughs> this thing swung and hit her. <laughs> oh, Lydia. I ain't worried about her. She'll be all right. All right, back to Skyrim we go. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Scary stuff there. Oh. The hell? What the? It's a pit. Oh my! Coin purse here. A high elf lying here. He's got boots and clothes that aren't worth crap to me. There's a deer here. I guess I take the stuff from the deer. I'm in a freaking pit, man! I can't get out of here. That's hilarious. There's a coin purse there. If I could get to it. The coin purse. I'm a little worried I'm going to get stuck on one of these pikes and kill myself just by walking around. Okay, well, we can't get out this way, right? That ain't going to happen. That's really funny. But it's, it's okay because this camp is not very big. We get out the other end of this thing no problem and then head back to Whiterun and make all kinds of money. This is not the right way. Oh, there's a coin purse there. Get to it. 14 gold. Oh, look at this. There's a chest here that I almost missed. Let's unlock this thing. Sixty-one gold, man. A scroll of hysteria and a torch. I mean, do I need the torch? I don't know. Somebody told me to use a torch when I'm picking a lock and that it'll help. Is that true? Don't know if that's true or not. That was cool that I just now found that little place there that I hadn't seen before. Oh, here's an ore, ore vein that I didn't see before. Hold on, hold everything. I mean, when you see how much you could turn amethysts and gems into expensive jewelry, it is worth taking the time. There's a garnet right there. It's worth taking the time to uh, do this. Alright, Lydia, let's get out of here. Let's leave these dead bodies behind. Back to Skyrim. Okay. Now it's all nice, bright, and sunny out here. Remember when we saw that dragon when we came here? That was scary. Huh. That mammoth is moving pretty quick over there. Don't worry, mammoth. I don't want your tusks. I have uh, your brethren's tusks. What do I want from this guy? Gold. Can sell the boots. Arrows. Steel ingot. And we'll leave the other stuff behind. Oh, there's a chest over here. Oh, well, this is a trapped chest, it looks like. Yeah, if I... if I, <laughs> Hey, Lydia. <laughs> Go open that I'm chest. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I need you to do something. Yes, Thane. What is it? Go over there and open that chest, this will you? Thing? Go, go. Take all from that chest. Okay, got it. I'm gonna go stand over here for no, for no reason. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And... Do it. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Take all from the chest. Okay, got it. Okay. Do it. Eh, she's not gonna do it. Can't do that. Sorry. Crap, man. She can't do it. She can't take all from the chest. There's what's gonna hit us, this thing, maybe. Is that it? Doesn't seem that bad. Lydia, I swear. Anything else? No, you just stand there and do nothing. Fine, I'll, I'll search it. No big deal. 
Okay. Well, maybe she did trip it. I don't know. Okay. Oh, damn it. I didn't see it tell me I was over encumbered. I've got your back. Hold on. Let me trade some things with her. How can I serve you, my Thane? Um, you can, um, take some heavy stuff from me again. Like, uh, maybe this helmet. No, that's what she... Oh, that's what I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah, take this helmet. Take the deer hide. There we go. We're fine now. All right, let's you get lead, the... I'll follow. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go back, man. Before I find something else to pick up. F5. Don't want to do all that inventory management again. That's for damn sure. Oh, hi. Oh, they come out of nowhere, don't they? Wolf pelt. If I take that, I'll be over encumbered. I don't need it. Sorry, wolf. Hate to leave you to waste like that. I mean, I'm not even going to pick any flowers. Put me over my weight limit. There's a house over there. But we need to get back. We need to make money. We should have enough gold after selling all this stuff to buy us this house. It's going to be a very exciting moment for us all. It'll be a celebration. Oh, there's like a camp down there. Look at that. Oh, okay, that's the carriage maybe that I could use to travel to different locations perhaps. Let me walk down here. Maybe it'll dis it'll show as discovered on my map. Oh. He got his weapon out. Okay. Not that I'm afraid of him, but I don't want to fight him when I'm so over encumbered, because then I won't be able to take his goodies, so we'll just leave him be. Looks like I misinterpreted what he was. We'll just leave him be, but we'll remember him. We'll come down here and just clear this place out, man. I mean, it's part of the Thane's duties, you know, to make sure that the area around this, the town is safe. I don't know if it's part of a Thane's duties or not, but I have decreed it so. See if I can find the entrance to this place. Mine Corundum Orvane? I regret this. Corundum, we need that to make items. No doubt I'm going to have to give stuff to uh, Lydia now. Okay, well, we got Corundum Ore. Yeah, you better run over here. I'm right behind you. Oh, there's a motorcycle in Skyrim. Did you hear that? Uh, trade some things. How can I serve you, my Thane? Okay. Hopefully she can carry some more stuff. We're going to give her the venison. And... Hmm. The ingots. Okay. All right. You lead, I'll follow. Yeah. Okay, that's probably the one that I just mined. I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get back to White Run and sell this stuff off. Pretty eager to do it. What is it? Dragons? Didn't you see that dragon over there, dude? There was a dragon just north of here. Okay, so uh, we could sell some stuff here, but before I do, you're someone who can get things done. I like that. Yep, that's me. Do you want to give me some more work? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Uh, what have you got for sale? Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can't sell her some stuff, some valuable stuff here. Yeah, I don't want to sell any. I'll sell these fur bracers and these hide boots. And um, I guess that's pretty much it, really, that I want to sell to her. I know Lydia has some stuff that I want to sell to don't her. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. But before I do here. that, 
Uh, let's make sure that she's I'm wearing nice some powerful thing. stuff. Like, right now, how do I see what armor she's wearing? I mean, according to this, she's wearing a helmet and some boots. What's she got on her body? You know, I mean, if I take her boots and her helmet, I'm gonna take her. So if I take this other stuff from her, she's, I guess you, you can't take all of her clothes off. Um, so even though it doesn't look like she's wearing armor, I guess she is. So we're gonna give her some steel armor, I guess. Is that what I wanna give her? Sure, why not? So I'm gonna give her some steel armor. And I'm gonna give her those boots she had. And we're gonna give her uh, an iron helmet. That's weird, she put that on. And, um... Let's see here, Lydia. I want you to put on this steel armor. No, damn it. I took it from her. Shift, equip mode. Equip, okay, weird. What the? Uh, she didn't equip it, I took it from her instead. So, here, take the steel armor back. I think I just put these gauntlets on, I think. Sheesh. Yeah, I, I'm wearing the boots, I don't want the boots. Here, take the boots, I don't want your boots. Uh, I want to equip um, these hide boots of minor stamina that I was using. I want those. <sighs> um, Lydia. So, I mean, equip mode makes me equip it. So, I, can I not... I, people, So many people have said, hey, make sure you give your companion better armor and stuff. Well, I'm trying to give her better armor, but how do I make her put it on? If I do equip, I'm the one who equips it. So how do I have her equip this? This doesn't make any sense. Hmm, I don't know what the heck's going on, man. You lead, I'll follow. So, I mean, right now, armor-wise, um, I got steel armor, I've got a steel horned helmet, I've got steel imperial gauntlets, and I'm wearing these boots of minor stamina. The shield, I mean, is that what she... the best blacksmith in white yeah. Your Does she use a shield? Steel is How can I serve you, my All I ask is a fair chance. So, I want her... Damn it. I want her to have the shield in case she wants to use it. Where the hell's the shield? What's the shield under? Banded Iron Shield. So we're going to give that to her. And uh, I'm going to take the studded armor from her. Or no, no. This is what I have. I mean, I guess I want her to keep that stuff. And then as far as weapons go, I'm going to... I guess she's going to use the, the Dwarven Bow. And I'll take the Hunting Bow from her. Um, the Steel Dagger, I'll take it from her. And... Um, I mean, this steel sort of arcing, I could take it and unenchant it, I guess. She could use this steel greatsword and the poacher's axe. I could also unenchant it. Right? You lead, I'll follow. Have you met my father? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a stupid. Shot it. Hmm. Shot Blades, it. Blades, helmets. Shot it. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, so we can sell her. This hunting bow. No, I want to disenchant that too. Dug on it. Studded armor. We'll sell that. This old hunting bow. These gauntlets. This steel dagger. Got to keep my pickaxe. And uh, I guess that's everything that I'm going to sell to her. We're getting closer to that magic 5,000 number. We'll have even more once I disenchant these things. All right then. Okay, so here at the Blacksmith Forge... Wait a minute, does she have a smelter? She does, doesn't she? Yeah, over huh? here. Here's a smelter. Huh, I guess I could just make some iron ingots and that's it, huh? Oh my god, look how many I've got. Uh, is there a quicker way to do this? Okay. Alright. Golly, 
all that stuff I collected and that's all I could do. But that's okay. So now we come here to the forge. And the most valuable thing I could make is iron armor. The problem is if I make it, I'll be over encumbered. Uh, but I could just turn, walk right over there and sell it to her. I mean, is this a good way to make money? Should I do this? I mean, is this... I mean, I might as well. I might as well just craft some things and get my smithing skill up, right? Make a shield. And uh, that's all I can make. I don't have enough stuff left now. But that's okay. Because I'm just going to walk over here and sell it to her. Got some good pieces. Mm -hmm. I help my father. The finest weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it. So we're going to sell this stuff to her and make some money. We'll sell iron armor. Iron shield. And I thought I made three things. What was the other thing I made? Um... Hmm. I really thought I made three things. Maybe I made something that she's not going to buy from me. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well. We're 47.35. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. No, I'm good. Okay, so now um, I want to go to a place that's going to buy um, like jewelry and stuff from me. And that would be this this place here, right? General Goods. He'll buy some some Take stuff a good from look me. Around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. if everything's for sale, my friend. Uh -huh. Oh, a bit of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of that. Okay, so we're going to sell some stuff to him. I'm going to sell these scrolls. I don't want these. I'm going to sell the necklace. Um, These rings. Okay, so I have plenty of gold now. And, um... Potion of Strength. Okay, I don't want to sell him the garnet. I want to make jewelry out of it instead. Gold necklace, we'll sell him that. And um, a silver necklace, that's not worth a whole lot, but we'll sell it. Oh, <laughs> and we've, we've cleaned him out. He has no more gold left. Do come back. Okay, so we cleaned him out. And then... I mean, I've got enough money to um, go up here and. My cousin's out fighting dragons. Uh -huh. And what do I get? Guard duty. You poor thing. Okay, so uh, I also need to bring somebody a tusk to Isolde. And she is. Apparently not on the map. Miscellaneous. Bring one mammoth tusk to Isolde. Why is she not on the map? Oh, here she is right here. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, oh. I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Uh-huh. Hold on. Farewell. I think that Lydia has the tusks. To chat with I've got your back. I think. Do your good for the day. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Okay. Uh, mammoth tusks. Give me those. I don't need eight of them, but give them all to me. Let's take all of them. Lead on. Look at my inventory. Look at everything. I have all eight mammoth tusks. Okay. Oh, now, that's funny. Now it shows up. Okay. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Speech increased to 27. Okay. We completed it. Alright. And. See you. I guess that's it. And now I'm over in cupboard. Hey. Hey, man. Had enough of fish and fowl? Uh -huh. Treat yourself and your kid. Do you get this cloud of steak very or a tender rack of ribs? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Finest cuts. Fresh from the wild. I don't think he's going to buy mammoth tusks from me. Sort of thing. And I, yeah, he's not. And I hate to sell them because, um, you know, they're worth a lot. Who would buy mammoth tusks from me? Good hunting. 
I need to give them oh, back to her, though, because I can't be carrying these things around. My way to the top. I own Shut up, Nazim. Right Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? She's pushing me out of the way. Do you mind? Boy, people are rude. How can I serve you, my thing? Here, take these mammoth tusks back. They're heavy. Apparently. But they're worth a lot. Alright, where's the mammoth tusks? Okay. Okay. Alright, at least I could walk around now. Lead on. Alright, let's go up the hill here and uh, collect the bounty and then also buy that house. Well met, Kinsman. I used to be an adventurer like you. And then I took an arrow to the knee. Friend. Then he took an arrow to the knee. We are the children. <sighs> and then also while we're here, we could uh, disenchant those items I've got. Okay, let's make sure I have the right quest chosen. Oh, it's, it was a miscellaneous, wasn't it? Yeah, collect the bounty. Okay. He's right up here. Cool, cool, cool. Who's this guy? Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Uh -huh. Well, the bandit leader at Halted Stream Camp is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. A hundred gold? Seriously? A hundred gold? Pfft. I'd like to buy a house. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Mm, I'll take it. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. Yay. I'd like to decorate my home. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? Uh, oh gosh. Okay, so here's some stuff I could buy. Um, hmm. I could get an alchemy laboratory, bedroom furnishings, loft decorations, dining room decorations, living room furnishings, kitchen furnishings, and children's bedroom. Um, I want a bed. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Cool. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Yeah, there is, actually. I would like to uh, purchase some living room fur furnishings. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Okay, I don't have no, if I have enough gold else now like for anything else. Um... Can I do the kitchen? I'm sorry, oh, okay. but you don't seem to have enough gold to pay for that. How embarrassing. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Okay. Well, I mean, we spent money. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go over here and do some disenchanting. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh. I can't disenchant this bow. Don't really know why. These are the only things I could disenchant? Wait a minute, I thought I was carrying a lot more enchanted things than this. And the one thing I do want to disenchant, I can't. The enchantment on this item is already known. Oh, okay. Okay, so no sense in disenchanting it again. But what about all this other stuff that I had in my inventory here? Um, okay, I'm using this axe. More? I thought I had more stuff. I could have swore I had some stuff I wanted to sell, but it was enchanted, so I Still didn't. Here. Does she care? Is she carrying it? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Okay, poacher's axe. Steel, steel sort of arcing. Okay. Okay, so those are two things that I wanted to disenchant. Lead on. Okay, all right, so steel sort of arcing. Let's learn shock damage. Uh, except, do I have the stuff I need? Disenchant. Are you sure you want to destroy this item and learn its effects? Yes. 
You learned shock damage enchantment from destroying this item, okay? Poacher's Axe. I'm going to learn Huntsman's Prowess, I guess. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. So we learned a couple of things. Now, if I wanted to enchant something with frost damage. Hmm, I can't seem to select an item. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I can't do anything now. Um. So am I just making a am I just filling a gem with something? Is that what I'm doing? Craft. Nope. What? Oh, what? Okay. The only thing I can enchant is my pickaxe. Huh. Okay. Apparently I still have a silver necklace and some silver rings left to sell. Chosen enchantment cannot be applied to this item. I can't enchant frost damage on my steel armor. Okay, I guess that makes sense, huh? Alright. Whatever, I'll figure it out. Well, I'm not over encumbered anymore, thank goodness. Huh. Okay, let's go check out our house, man. We have a house now. Look at me, I'm so excited. Whee! I wanna go get my house. Do some hunting, eh? Avoid Brittle Shin Pass to the southwest. Hmm. Avoid Brittle Shin Pass to the southwest, he says. Hmm. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. All right, this is our house right here. Look at this beautiful house. This is a nice house. This is a prestigious house right on the main street. Yeah. Here we are, man. Oh, it's our new house. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. What do you think, Lydia? Welcome to my home. Oh, it's lovely. What a beautiful little house. All that hard work is paid off. Look at this place. It's kind of a mess, really. Can I clean it up? Jeez. Doesn't look like it. Let's see what's up here. Ooh. Is this my bedroom? Oh, look at this bedroom. What a nice bedroom. Gosh. This is great. Ooh, there's a book here. Nice. Pretty cool, man. Got an end table that has gold in it. Nice. <laughs> okay. It came with gold. It's funny. Yeah, bonus gold with each end table purchase, apparently. That's hilarious. Search this dresser. Uh, nothing I want. This is pretty awesome. Well, now I have a place to put my crap. I was hoping... Let's see, okay, there's kind of a bookshelf here. So I wonder how hard it... Ooh, activate bookshelf. Books put here would be placed on the shelf. Nice! Okay, cool. I was thinking this was going to be difficult to do, um, but it's not. Okay, we've already read A Dance in Fire. Uh, we've already read Arg Argonian Accounts. Uh, we've read these Brief History of the Empire books. I thought I had more of these. Maybe I read some of them and didn't keep them. We read Chance's Folly. Uh, we read Killing Before You're Killed. We read... Um, what else did I read? The Book of the Dragonborn. We read, um, there's the White Run Home, White Run Home Decorating Guide. I haven't looked at that. Gosh, I don't remember. I mean, some of these, like Letter from a Friend, these letters. Mixed Unit Tactics, we read that. I remember that. And, um, quite a few that I, I don't think, okay, Arvel's Journal, I'm pretty sure we did read that. I don't remember what's in it, though. 
the bounty here. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these already have the eyeball next to them, but that's just because I picked them up. So now if I back away, there's books on my shelf. <laughs> it's so awesome. I was really worried about how I was going to put books on a shelf, but that's, that's, that's it, man. They're on the shelf. It's freaking awesome. This is awesome. Oh, this comes with some ale. Nice little welcoming gift. This is really cool. Well, I'm going to sit here in my house and enjoy it and uh, read a book. And uh, if you want to stick around while I read a book, uh, please do. Love it if you stuck around. Uh, we're going to read a book called um, Darkest Darkness, which I can't remember whether I've read before or not. As a matter of fact, I have not. Let's read Darkest Darkness by Anonymous. In Morrowind, both worshippers and sorcerers summon lesser Daedra and bound Daedra as servants and instruments. Most Daedric servants can be summoned by sorcerers only for very brief periods within the most fragile and tenuous frameworks of command and binding. This fortunately limits their capacity for mischief, though in only a few minutes, most of these servants can do terrible harm to their summoners as well as their enemies. Worshippers may bind other Dedric servants to this plane through rituals and pacts. Such arrangements result in the Daedric servant remaining on this plane indefinitely, or at least until their bodily manifestations on this plane are destroyed, precipitating their supernatural essences back to oblivion. Whenever Daedra are encountered at Daedric ruins or in tombs, there are almost invariably long-term visitors to our plane. Likewise, lesser entities bound by their Daedra lords into weapons and armor may be summoned for brief periods, or may persist indefinitely so long as they are not destroyed and banished. The class of bound weapons and bound armors summoned by, the, by temple followers and conjurers are examples of short-term bindings. Daedric artifacts like Merun's razor and the mask of Clavicus Vile are examples of long-term bindings. The Tribunal Temple of Morrowind has incorporated the veneration of Daedra as lesser spirits subservient to the immortal Almsivi, the triune godhead of Almaclexia, Sothasil, and Vivek. These subordinate Daedra are divided into the good Daedra and the bad Daedra. The good Daedra have willingly submitted to the authority of Almsivi. The bad Daedra are rebels who defy Almsivi treacherous kin who are more often adversaries than allies. The good Daedra are Boethia, Azura, and Mephila. The hunger is a powerful and violent lesser Daedra associated with Boethia, father of plots, a sinuous, long-limbed, long-tailed creature with a beast-skulled head, noted for its paralyzing touch and its ability to disintegrate weapons and armor. The winged twilight is a messenger of Azura, goddess of dusk and dawn. Winged twilights resemble the feral harpies of the west, though the feminine aspects of the winged twilights are more ravishing and their long, sharp, hooked tails are immeasurably, immeasurably more deadly. Spider Daedra are the servants of Mephila, taking the form of spider humanoid centaurs with a naked upper head, torso and arms of human proportions, mounted on the eight legs and armored carapace of a giant spider. Unfortunately, these Daedra are so fierce and irrational that they cannot be trusted to heed the commands of a spinner. As a consequence, few sorcerers are willing to either summon or bind such creatures in Morrowind. The bad Daedra are Merun's Dagon, Malakath, Sheogorath, and Molag Baal. Three lesser Daedra are associated with Merun's Dagon, the agile and pesky scamp the ferocious and beast-like beast clan fear, and the noble and deadly Dramora. The crocodile-headed humanoid Daedra called the Daedroth is a servant of Malog Bal, while the giant but dim-witted Ogrim is a servant of Malakath. Shiogareth's lesser Daedra, the Golden Saint, a half-clothed human female in appearance, is highly resistant to magic and a dangerous spellcaster. Another type of lesser Daedra often encountered in Morrowind is the Atronach, or Elemental Daedra. Atronachs have no binding kinship or alignments with the Daedra Lords, serving one realm or another at whim, shifting signs according to seduction, compulsion, 
or opportunity. Well, I don't know how much of that I'm going to remember, but I am going to remember that I read it. Darkest Darkness has been read. We're going to stand up, walk over here to my bookshelf, and we're going to put it on the bookshelf as a red book. There you go. <laughs> That's freaking cool, man. Well, I'm going to sit back down in my chair here. Lydia, why don't you have a seat? Lydia, sit down. Lydia, sit. <laughs> I just get up and walk over there myself. <laughs> Can I tell her to sit down? I'm just curious. Hey, Lydia. Still here. Uh, I want you to do something. Yes, Thane. What and is it? what it is, is I yes, want nothing. you to sit in that chair. Okay, got there it. There you go. Sit down and enjoy some, uh... Oh. Okay, don't then. What happened? I need you to do something. Yes, Thane. What is it? I want you yes, my thing? to sit in that freaking chair. Sit. Okay, got it. All right. I need to have her do it before I tab out of it, I guess. There you go. You can do it. It's a chair. You put your butt in it. There you go. All right. Anything else? Well, just sit there. We're just going to relax a little bit in my new house. Thanks, Lydia. Thanks for sitting with me. And thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving me, leaving me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.